Good morning, everyone. This is Jomar. There was no audio because I haven't started yet. Now I'm starting. Welcome to the How to Build the Perfect Blog Post. Let's do it again. Good morning, everyone. This is Jomar Hilario, and you are in the free webinar entitled How to Build a Perfect Blog Post for Selling Your Services Online. And plus, how to use technology to help you in crisis like floods and stuff. I realized just now that I am late again. The country has apparently stopped the love affair with the flood, and they are now in in love with the uh, pork barrel issue. Am I right? Am I right to say to think that most of you don't care about technology and crisis anymore until, of course, the next technology come, the next crisis comes, and then now you care. Am I right? Um, are you now? thinking more about that pork barrel thing, more than you're thinking about the previous thing, which is the flood thing. So what do you think? Should I stop talking about crisis? Or do you think you can use this thing, this lesson tonight for the, for the future, any kind of disaster that might befall you guys? Do you think I should stop talking about something that's a bit late because everybody's talking about the politics of this country. What do you think? In the meantime, while you're thinking, I will give you some wisdom from a book I'm reading again. So all throughout the webinar, um, if I'm going to wait for your answer, instead of waiting for your answer, I will now read from a book. Some business advice coming from the founders of 37 Signals, Jason Fried and David Heimer, Heinemeyer Hansen. So this is the stuff I'm going to read. Okay, so if you think, what is Jomar talking about? It's talking about, I'm talking about this is advice that is very critical. And the person, the first person who, who got the book from me when he saw me reading it was John Mac Hilado when he was 18 years old. I was in Cebu. John, John is a, uh, he's, an, he's his own online marketer now. He's probably 23 years old. I met him when he was 17, taught him how to do online marketing, and now he has a book, he has public seminars, he does events. Anyway, this is the book he stole, he, well, he didn't steal from me, he, he said, Koye Jomar, akin na lang to. Okay, I gave it to him. So, first advice, good enough is fine. This means when you start a project, start a business, if you do the first effort and it's just good enough, it's not perfect, that's great. You can start with good enough. Okay, so that's the first piece of advice. So, okay, the title of the book is Rework, R-E-W-O-R-K, Rework. And that's the book I'm actually reading from now while I'm waiting for, for your answer. Apparently, nobody wants to answer my question, so I'll just uh, keep talking. <laughs> so that's the book I'm reading from. Just some summaries of what I'm getting from the book. Uh, I'm rereading it because it has too many drawings so it's easy to read. So that's really work. Now let's go and ask you the question again since nobody seems to have answered my question. Hi. Tech and crisis. So Manny, Manny, hi Manny, uh, one of the members of the Online Mentoring Club, is back with us. So Manny wants me to talk about the crisis so let's do this. I might be saying stuff you already know. Please bear with me. Okay, number one. I'm not going to talk about floods only. I'm talking about any kind of crisis. So let's start very simply. I'm going to do this quick because there's only a few things you can do really. Okay? 
So I'm not going to tell you to go to Facebook because you already know that, right? Can you say, yes, I know Facebook. If there is a disaster, I go to Facebook. Facebook is my newspaper. Can you say that? Facebook is my newspaper. So I'm not going to tell you to go to Facebook to find out. Okay. So instead, if you go, you're in the situation, I'm just going to dramatize, you see a fire. This is a crisis. Fire in some building far away. So you're... You're in a tall building and you see a fire in some building far away. You know, you know the general direction of that fire, like this one. Generally, it's there. You, you want to know where is that fire. You want to know is if your family is going to be affected. Is that your school? Is that in Makati so you don't have work? So how do you know where the fire is? TikTok, TikTok, the fire, the first place you go is you go to Twitter. You go to Twitter search. You don't go to Twitter. You don't open an account. Just go to Twitter search. So I'm going to plug in the first lesson. If you want to know where a disaster is occurring and it's just somewhere, you don't know where it is, it's just somewhere, you go to Twitter search. And then you enter the location plus some words that describe what you're looking at. So if I'm going to look for Manila Fire, Right now, in Twitter search, I will know if there is a fire happening in Manila right now. Apparently, wala. Kasi, according to the nababasa ko ngayon, iba yung fire na sinasabi nila. Okay? So, if that, that's a disaster. So, if you want to go, just, uh, just so you know the general location, or you can, you can check if it's a Pasay, Pasay fire. And you'll know if anybody in the vicinity used Twitter to announce there's something happening. Okay? And apparently, on 21 of August, okay, there's a two-day fire running in Pasay. Okay? So there it is. That's a picture on 20 of August. So that's six days ago, right? So uh, try not to belittle what I just showed you because... Normally, if you see a flame outside or anything happening, the first website to see that event would be Twitter. Okay? An announcement or people seeing a picture of what you're seeing is going to be Twitter. It's not going to be Philippine Star. It's not going to be Inquirer. Normally, people on the ground tweeting or texting by their mobile phones will see it. See it. The next place you will look for, I'm done with Twitter, is, no, not that one. Where is this? This is this, this, my, my other website. Sandali, I hinahanap ko lang yung website na pinrepare ko. The next place you're going to go, you want to find more details about that place that you are <coughs> looking at na may disaster. No? Remember, Twitter, I'm just going to show you Twitter again just before we say goodbye to Twitter. If it was happening during that time, bumabagyo, halimbawa kahapon, umulan, inakabahan ka na, or two days ago, three days ago, you don't know the state of your sister-in-law in some place. You just type in malolos flood and you'll know generally what people are saying, what pictures are being shown about the flood in malolos. And there it is. You see that? Flood update, malolos crossing earlier, 8 a.m., 21 of August. So that was the last update then. So, meron na lang um, flood victims. And you can click here and you can see some pictures. I'm not going to click on the pictures. Essentially, you're, you're going to know na wala ng flood pala sa Malolos ngayon. So, that's Twitter. Now, if you want pictures lang, just go to Webstagram search. Webstagram search will give you pictures of the actual place. Okay? So I'm going to type in the Webstagram for you guys para maklik ninyo. So before you use Webstagram, however, you need to run, uh, you need to create an Instagram account. Okay? Teka lang, ha? hindi pala, hindi, you don't need an Instagram account. Just go ahead to the Webstagram search and type in a keyword. Okay? So I'm displaying the Webstagram. Wala pa akong pinapasok na keyword. So if I want to see 
ano yung mga pictures ng mga tao related to sa ano nangyari, I can just type in, in the world word. Ano pangalan ng bagyo? Maring ba? Maring? Maring? Is that the name of the bagyo? Tatype mo lang yung keyword dun sa Webstagram search and it's going to show to you pictures of people or places na nagtag ng maring. Merong maring PH. And by the way, you might want to know what these are. Uh, on the left are are called hashtags. Can you type, can you say hashtags? Let's na natin para alam niyo. Para marunong ka rin kayo. So, alam niyo ba para saan yung hashtag? A lot of people don't know what it's for, but let me just uh, hashtags. Ito, hash maring. Hash maring ph. Do you know what hashtags are for? Do you know what hashtags are for? Question is. Pag yung screen yun nag ano, nag, you know, weird, di pa nag display. Just, you know, refresh your screen, F6 or sync, or just go get in, get out. Don't no, try that. Alis ka sa webinar, balik ka sa webinar. Ganon. Okay. So these hashtags, now you take a photo of the flood in front of your house. Um, gusto mo, when people are looking for the maring na hashtag, lalabas yung picture mo. Ayaw mong explain, this is the flood in front of our house during Typhoon Maring, ang haba-haba. So ang ginagawa ng tao, to shorten yung, this is the picture of the flood in front of our house in Typhoon Maring, lalagay na lang nila yung number sign tapos yung maring. Or maring PH. Ang ginagawa ngayon ng mga sa entertainment industry, Yung movie, ginagawa nila ng hashtag, like, this one, Thor 2. So, pag labas ng trailer, lalabas yung hashtag Thor 2, meaning to say, if you wanna watch, if you wanna use hashtags, uh, sorry, if you wanna use, uh, sorry, ha, hindi, ko ma, hindi ko masabi. Kung gusto mong makita nung gumawa ng movie, yung, yung post mo sa Instagram, sa Facebook, sa Twitter, kakamitin mo yung hashtag nila. Ulitin ko. Kung gusto mong makita nung gumawa ng movie na Thor 2, yung nilagay mong post sa internet, sa Twitter, sa Facebook, at sa Instagram, gamitin mo yung hashtag nila. Pag may nangyayaring katulad yan bagyo, Marine PH, may lumalabas na lang na mga hashtags. People are actually just coming up with it. Ang pinaka simpleng hashtag is Marine. Of course, baka may ibang Marine sa mundo, so nilagay nila ng PH sa dulo. So, meron ding maring typhoon. So, kita mo, maraming gumagamit maring habagat. Kasi yung mga ginagamit nilang tag just to tell you what's in the photo. Because photographs, they don't talk. You, you don't know what a photograph says unless may hashtag. But, Jomar, they can just put the words uh, maring. Yeah, but sometimes, hindi nila nilalagay yung word na maring kasi ang nilalagay nila, this is a picture in front of our house during the typhoon, during the habagat. Tapos, hindi na nila malagay yung maring Kasi nilagay na nila mahabagat. Dalagyan na nila ng hashtag, habagat, hashtag maring, ph. Ganon. Para hindi na sila gagawa ng complete paragraph. So, to take a look at the photos, just click on our hashtag here. Yung maring, yung dating ko. Lalabas lahat ng photos na nakatag maring. Of course, tapos na yung bagyo, baka iba na lumabas dito. Ayan, may mga, mayroon siya relief efforts. So, these are all pictures. Is, um, let me remind you, hindi na ito masyadong importante. Tapos na yung bagyo. Okay? Hindi na masyadong, hindi ka na kinakabahan. Di ba? Ang oh, dami yung. Oh. Hashtag, Maring, suspended class, homebound, flood, sunken city. So, so ang daming pictures yan. Maubos ang panahon mo, 16,000 pictures yan, just on one hashtag. If you go back, you can find a lot of other Maring photos. Okay, so, remember, this stuff is important when you're in the situation or malapit na or magsisimula pa lang yung crisis. At least makikita mo yung lugar, yung, ano, yung surroundings mo. Nga lang, pag naghanap ka dito, maring, tapos hinashtag mo lang yung search, wala, hindi mo mo narrow down sa location. Unless, of course, you're smart at nilagay mo sa search ay maring, tapos sinabi mo yung location mo. Malolos. Halimbawa. So, now, you can see if anybody in your town hashtag Maring or used it in Instagram. Sh shot a photo of your city during the Maring crisis. Wala ko nakikita eh. 
So just an example. Again, this is for future use. Now, Instagram is for photos. You need Webstagram to search for it. Okay. Now let's go big. Simulang nung nagkaroon ng malaking problema sa Pilipinas ng Ondoy, nakialam na si Google kaya gumawa sila ng crisis, crisis maps. Every time something big happens to a country, Google comes out with a map and they call it the crisis map. There's no single ano, location of crisis maps aside from when you Google crisis map. Kunin natin yung Google or crisis map. Kasi lahat na nangyayaring crisis sa mundo, ginagawa nila ng map. Pag napunta ka sa google.org slash crisis map, talabas yung US wildfires, which you are not interested in, right? <laughs> Kasi masyadong weird. So, talabas yung US wildfires. Kasi this is happening right now. So, there's a crisis there. If you want to see what's, what are the photos in the US wildfires, type mo lang, ito, sa in webstagram, US wildfires. And there you have it makikita mo kung ano mayroong nag-i-Instagram ng wildfire or just wildfire. Ngayon, huwag ka magagalit kung wala. Picture yan eh. Tsaka disaster yan. Kung walang nag-picture, di wala. Okay? Hindi ko alam kung kailan nangyari yung US wildfire na yan. Ha? Hindi ko alam kung hanggang ngayon ganyan pa rin. Hindi naman ako taga America. So, iba eh. Wildfires, PC. I can't see anything about the US wildfires. So, let's try to look at what happened nung nag-Philippines. Okay? So, nung nagbukas, ang, to find out kung may crisis map yung nangyari. Okay? Yeah. The photos in Instagram are only from Instagram only. What is Instagram? It's a program na located sa phone mo na nagamit to take pictures. Tapos pinupost sa internet agad. Now, kung gusto mo malaman kung may nangyari, may gumawa ang Google ng ng crisis map for the Philippines. I-type mo lang Google crisis map sa Google, tapos type mo yung maring o kung ano man yung keyword na describes what's happening right now. Floods, habagat. Malalaman mo sa news kung merong crisis map. Tapos pipindutin mo yung yun, ano nakalagay yun. Google sets up sa, sa Google crisis map for maring. So pag bukas mo ngayon ng crisis map, makikita mo, where is it? Uh, let's just click on it. I can't find it. Basahin mo yung news. Sa news, nandun yung link to the crisis map. Just click on the news. Makikita mo yung ginawa niyang picture ng Philippines. Andun dapat yan? Ito, 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 ito. So this is the crisis map of Google. I'm gonna give you a link. Every disaster that's major, no, will have a crisis map, courtesy of Google. What you're looking at right now is the situation Metro Manila. It's not identifying floods. It's identifying relief goods centers. Kung gusto mo mag-volunteer, gusto mo mag-help, pumunta ka sa Kabisig Elementary School. Or, if you're smart, don't go there. Ang gawin mo, tumawag ka muna kung anong tanongin mo kung anong kailangan nila sa Kabisig Elementary School before you go there. Yun nga pala ang smart thing to do when volunteering. Kasi kung di ka naman affected, mag-volunteer ka na yan. Hanapin mo yung nearest na elementary school na ginawa nilang evacuation center. And there it is. This obviously goes smaller as time progress. Nauubos na yung evacuation centers. Pero yan, nandyan lahat yan. Kasi iba hindi ba evacuation center? Ano dyan? Sinas nag identify kung may floods. Okay, so the crisis map allows you to display states of calamity, flooding shelters, or the path of the typhoon. Ipiliin mo lang anong gusto mong mag-appear o mag-disappear dito sa crisis map. So I'm gonna get rid of stuff. Wala nang typhoon eh. So area of state of calamity is Pasay. State of calamity for ng Pasay. Sino pa? Ayun. Malabon. State of calamity pa rin siya. So nakikita mo, or state San Mateo, Taytay, Cavite, they're all state of calamity. Lumban, Cavite, Balanga. So, nandiyan, medyo malala pa sila ngayon. So, yan yung areas of state of calamity. So, you know. Na dito mo na rin makikita lahat ng mga emergency hotlines na pinopost nila sa Facebook. Na hilig nyo i-repost, di ba? So, nandiyan na. Pero hindi ito in-update kasi tapos na yung Philippine flooding. So, I'll go a little bit. 
Dakitan yung hotline, hindi niyo na kailangan. Personal, do you want to know, uh, by the way, yung DOST gumawa rin siya ng ano, ah, hazard map. Ito naman yun, Project NOAA. Uh, let me just give you the link. And DOST, I don't know if, I don't know if they update this at all, pero you can use this while the storm is about to start, maghanap ka ng rainfall na ano, na tag mo dito? Rainfall predictions, weather outlook, tingnan mo kung ano yung itsura ng satellite, a satellite view ng Philippines during a certain time, dito ka sa Project NOAA. So right now, we have no storms. So I've looked at the satellite view. There's actually a storm going up to Taiwan. So, there. Inside the Project NOAA of the DOST. So that's, ito medyo merong weather pattern. Yung crisis map ng Google, it's not about weather. That one is about where are you gonna go for relief? Where are you gonna go as evacuation center? When you have loved ones trapped in a city, it's it's good to know kung saan yung nearest evacuation center para pwede mo silang i-text. Text mo sa kanila, punta kayo dito, punta kayo dito. Kasi sabi, according to the Google Crisis Center, merong evacuation center dito sa school na to. So, pwede mo silang i-direct. Makita mo yung address nila, kina mo yung address ng city. Yun. Pwede mo silang sabihan na, okay, according to this, merong flood center. Malapit sa inyo, puntahan nyo yan. Sa Maragondon, Tresi Martires, for example. So that's how you can help other people. By informing them by text. Last time na nagkaroon ng parang habagat, nasa probinsya kami. Actually, lumipad kami while the storm is running. Planado yun. So, hindi namin na-experience yung majority. Na-experience namin yung simula nung storm, nung last time. But we did text yung mga tao sa Malolos kasi nag-release sila ng water sa dam kung anong pwede nilang gawin. Okay, so kasi nakikita mo kung nasaan yung relief centers. Now, what if you are in your car in a crisis? You want to know what's happening in on the road. Do you know the, Do you know what to do? So the question is, may alam mo na bumabag yun na or something. You want to know kung ano nangyayari sa Pilipinas ngayon, ngayon na. Ano nangyayari sa road? Makakauwi pa ba ako? Are you interested to know that? Yung ganong klase. Makaka-uwi pa ba ako? Anybody interested to know that? The first thing you need to do is make sure you have internet. Sa cellphone nyo, marami naman sa nyo unlimited, ano? Tapos, Install nyo yung app na Waze. Hindi nyo alam ang spelling, kaya ayan yung spelling. Waze. Install nyo yung app na yan. Now, kung wala kayong phone na may app, bumili na kayo ng phone na may app. Kasi wala kayong choice. It's either Android or iOS. Waze is real time. Meaning, kung nang may nangyari ngayon, malalaman mo na ngayon. Normally, yung Waze ginagamit ng tao para malaman kung mabaglis ba yung road, mabagal ba yung road. Kung pwede ba ako dumaan sa shortcut o meron bang sagat, merong aksidente ba? How fast are people running on the road? So, instead of telling you, no, I'm gonna show you exactly what Waze is doing. This is Pablo Campos Sr. today, right now. 15 kilometers ang speed ng road dyan ngayon sa Pablo Campos Sr. I'm gonna move around this thing and you're going to see may icons na cute. Yung icons na cute na parang tatlong kotse, ibig sabihin, dikit-dikit na yung mga kotse sa road na yan. Okay, let, let me just go to, uh, let me just go to EDSA. Hanapin natin si EDSA. Yung favorite nyo street, di ba favorite nyo street yun? Ano ba itong road na to? So, paano nalalaman ito ng Waze? Lahat ng tao nagra-run ng Waze, binobroadcast ni Waze yung speed ng sasakyan nila at saan silang road nandun. Yun, hindi mo kailangan ng real-time videos. Ang kailangan mo, malaman kung anong sinasabi ng bawat isang tao. Do you see the smiley face na orange? When you're running ways, you can actually talk to these people. These are people who are running ways on their computer, on their cell phones. 
you don't know who they are, right? You don't know who they are. Would it be great if you can talk to them, kahit na hindi mo sila kilala, and ask them, kamusta ang road dyan? Umaandar pa ba? Baha ba? Malalim ba ang baha? Kasi pag, pag maraming na-track trap sa labas, at maraming uma, gumagamit ng ways, this is Philippines, this is real time, this is happening right now. Malalaman mo kung saan hindi gumagalaw. Pag hindi gumagalaw, you have a suggestion na huwag ka nang dumaan doon kasi hindi gumagalaw. Nakikita mo yung icon sa tatlong cars, sabihin hindi gumagalaw yan. Hindi gumagalaw na yung road na yan. Pag nakikita mo yung icon na mayroong speed, yan ang speed ng mga tao in going in that direction. So this is very good kung ang dami-daming tao sa road kasi there's a big likelihood there's somebody out there using ways. So if you guys use ways, then nakakatulong kayo to the entire set of people na naghahanap ng information about road conditions. Kasi pag maraming gumagamit, maraming nakikinabang. So that's the speed. This is 55 kilometers. I think I'm looking at, what is that? What is this road na mabilis? Ortigas Ave. Ayan, 35 kilometers siya. So, kung gusto mong kausapin yung mga tao na yan, wala namang garantee na magsasalita siya, i-click mo lang yung icon, i-click mo yung tao, pwede mo siyang i-chat. Onk, kita mo yan? Chat-chat ko yan. Five months ago, pwede ko siyang padala ng message. Toink, magsasalita yung beep-beep. Magbe-beep-beep yung kanyang ways. Yeah, <laughs> mag-iingay yung kanyang cellphone. <laughs> Hopefully, may kasama siya sa kotse para pansinin ka. Now, if it happens na there's a crisis happening, these people are more likely going to pay attention to your question. Pare, meron akong, ano, nandito ako, um, kamusta naman yung road ninyo? See? There, and, and that's Jackie. Her name, I can uh, uh, text her a message. I don't know who she is. I only know, nandun siya sa road na yon, running. And if there's a flood out there, you can now talk to anyone using Waze. By the way, binili na ng Google ang Waze. So you will be seeing more of Waze in the coming months. Lalabas na ang ways sa Google Maps. So kung meron kayong phone na may Google Maps, lalabas yan. And if there's a disaster, may banggaan, may police na nakalabas, they actually report that. I'm not kidding. Yung may police dito, ano sila, nag-aabang sila yan. They report nila yan. Okay? So, I hope that helps you in figuring out your route, lalo na pag malala na ang traffic or meron na kayong, nagtatry na kayong umuiwas. Kasi may mga icons just to say somebody there is a there's a car in the middle of the road na banggaan sila ganun ganun. Ways happens to run when there's somebody running ways. Get it? So this is a global thing. Halong ng Pilipinas 'yan. I can check out the traffic in any city on the planet as long as they're running ways. A million sang user ng ways eh. Hindi yan lang yan Pilipinas. There's nagsimula to sa America and a lot of Filipinos already using it. So useful na siya for me. So if you join in ways you can just, as long as there's somebody running ways in your location, you can find out the traffic in that location, okay? Right? Nasa Russia pala ako, kaya wala akong makita. <laughs> Asensya, nasa Russia yung ano, mapa ko. So, that's ways, okay? And, um, do you have questions? Ba, meron pa palang isa, last, last na lang. So, that's ways. I showed you just a live thing ng ways. Now, let me show you something else. Yeah, nawala yung screen ko. Sadya. Somebody's requesting for videos. Siyempre, demanding kayo, di ba? So, you got it. In a limited sense, you can find videos live videos of the streets today by going to this website. The MMDA now planet that TV. Gusto mo live videos, di ba? Good luck kung mabilis yung internet mo, ah, sa kotse. Ito. Pag pinindot mo ito, malalaman mo ano yung tour ng Taft, ano yung tour ng Ayala, yung Renze, Pituas, yung White Plains. And these are video cameras on the street. You can check out the flood before you do anything. Just pick a location and the live video will appear. Kung nakabukas, I'm not sure. Ah. This is MMDA website. Okay? So, yeah, kung gusto nung makita yung video, maganda yan sa daytime kasi may ihilaw yung, may ihilaw yung camera. Mukhang hindi yung maandar ngayon. Eh. So, there. 
So I hope that helps you in your disaster thingy. Katulong ba yun? O alam nyo na lahat yun? Sabi nga kung alam nyo na. So hindi ko na kailangan ulitin. So that's it. Um, I yeah, discussed everything I wanted to discuss. So everyone, you can take a break. Go to the bathroom muna. While I read a quote. May ad pala. I will read a quote from the book that I am holding right now. So, right. Ayan. Let your customers outgrow you. Ibig sabihin nito, some customers will request you to... Ayan ay ayala. Uh, it's a flyover. Some customers will ask you to add a feature here. Pwede bang ganyan? Pwede bang ganito? Pwede bang ganyan? Pwede bang ganito? Your role is to not say yes. Because if your goal is to serve a certain group of people, halimbawa, your photo booth. Photo booth or dentista ka ganyan. Tapos humihingi sila ng DVD sa waiting room, humihingi na sila ng total entertainment package habang naghihintay sila sa kanilang dental appointment, pwede ka na mag-say no. Okay. Or humihingi sila ng some, some dental skill or some, pre, some photo booth feature na hindi mo naman afford, pwede ka na mag-say no para pumunta na sila sa mas mahal na dentist o mas mahal na, na photo booth. Kasi you're trying to serve people of a certain kind of uh, market. You're not trying to serve everyone who wants a photo booth or who wants a dental service. So that's yung rule nito sa book na to. Let your customers outgrow you. Ayan. Okay. So nakita niya na yung live video, ah? Okay. I'm gonna quit that. And I'm gonna quit this also. And we're going to go to our... Wait ko na to. In live stream now. Please. Okay, we're gonna go to the second part, which is the building the perfect blog post for selling your services online. Are you ready for this? Um, anybody here learn anything? Alam niyo expression sa Amerika? Throw, throw the dog a bone. Ako yung dog. And I'm asking for a bone. If you understand English, that's not a bad, that's not really a good thing. Okay, so thank you for the sagot. Okay, let's talk about how to make the perfect blog post. And I'm going to make a mind map. Ano ba si, ano ba si Manix? Yan natin ko si Manix. Eh, alam ko, busy si Manix eh. Manix is the one who does our mind maps. He's not around, so no. I'll just do the mind map myself. Okay. Sanay naman ako eh. Okay, look. So. Hi, Christina Pebinito. Kilala mo ba si Lou Pebinito? That used to be my best friend in in college. So, Christina, do you want to say anything? Uh, I will open your microphone if you want to say anything. Do you have a headset running? Mind note, yes. Christina, you have a headset running? You want to say something? If you want to say something, make sure you have a headset. And we can unmute you so you can say something or ask a question. Okay, looks. So... So, the perfect blog post for services to sell, obvious ba, services online. Can you tell me, can you tell me what kind of services do you have in mind? In my mind, I'll just list out some, but you can tell me para mas masaya, di ba? Hindi lang ako. Kayo din. Magbigay suggestions, doctor. I can also use, um, Photo booth. These are services. What else? Okay, let's read a quote. Ito maganda. You need a commitment strategy, not an exit strategy. So when you start off with a business, okay, you need to come up with a strategy so you will stay with it instead of an exit strategy meaning what will you do 
to give up. Okay, so, kung wala kang strategy for staying with it, with the business, then you probably should create one, a commitment strategy. Sabi ng doktor na to, he works. Okay, so let's uh, put in yung mga sinabi ninyo. Bookkeeping. Bookkeeping services. Catering. And of course, seminars and events. So, all of these have one thing in common. They're not products. They're all services. Online bookstore is not a service. It's a product. If the bookstore is your product, then that's a service. Where the books are, you know, tours. Okay. All of them. Okay. Here's the answer to the question, how do you... How do you create the perfect blog post to sell these products? Number one, um, how? Let's start tayo dito sa how para maganda. Mahaba ito at the same time, like say, so, yan talaga para tayong, parang Buddha, no? It's, it's both long and it's both short. It's both black and it's both white. So, how do you do that? thing you need to assume is there's a lot of work involved. Embrace nyo na ba? When you do online marketing, there's a lot of work involved. Yung work na yan has a lot to do sitting down and a lot of surfing the net. Ganun talaga. There's also a lot of thinking. Yan ito tukoy kung work ka. There's a lot of um, analyzing yourself. When I say yourself, I mean your business. I don't mean yourself as a person. Your business. Are you ready for this? Whoever is listening to this, are you ready to work? Are you ready to sit down? Are you ready to surf the net? Are you ready to do some thinking? Are you ready to analyze yourself? Or even your service. Your service. Puro ang susunod dyan is, if you're looking for another solution, like, you're gonna listen to me now, and then tomorrow you're gonna listen to somebody else, and stuff like that, uh, you're just wasting your time. Really. You're just wasting your time. If you're just gonna, you're looking for a solution now, and then, then, then I'll apply that next year, blah, blah, blah. Okay. The thing about next year is, uh, cliche. Can you type cliche? Technology changes too quick. By next year, probably this won't work anymore. So, bahala kayo. If you want to apply it next year, bahala kayo. Maybe something else will appear next year that will in, in, ano, in, invalidate what I'm talking about. So it's really up to you. The psychology of this is sound. It's going to happen 30 years from now, 50 years from now. But technology is not going to be the same. Clear? So if you want to pay attention to this one, you better make sure you apply it this year, this month, next month. Not next year, not 30, 30 years from now. Okay? Because... Nagbabago siya. Mamaya, wala na yung tech na sasabihin ko. Okay, let's... Where's my thing? Okay. First thing you need to do is understand the perfect blog post is essentially a pattern. It's not one. It's a set. Set of blog posts. But it's gonna start from the one. Pag natapos ka na sa one, you can go on to the next, the next set. So this is the perfect blog post. A blog post is an essay. For those na hindi alam kung ano yung blog post, alam nyo kung ano yung essay. And the title of the blog post is How to Find the Perfect... What is your business? That's it. So for those of you na may business now, fill in the blanks. The blog post title is How to Find the Perfect... What are you? Caterer? Dentor, dentist, photo booth, seminar provider, bookstore, doctor, dentist. Now, let me just change that title for something better. How to find your perfect blank. Right? How to find your perfect blank. Dentist, how to find your perfect tours, how to find your perfect booking services. That's not complete. You have to put a what? In location. 
So this is the blog post title of the perfect blog post for selling your services. I sorry, blog post boostiness. How to find your perfect business in location? Anong location? Anong city ka nag-cater? Kung sabihin Asia Pacific, kung hindi ka naman talaga Asia Pacific. Kung sabihin Philippines, kung hindi mo kaya sa Philippines. Sabihin mo na lang yung local mo. City, 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 city. How to find your perfect caterer in Malolo City? Ganun lang. That's the title. Let's put in the essay mismo. The essay is the blog post. So this is the actual post. The essay is not an essay. I'm using the word essay kasi yun ang intindihan ninyo. It's actually a list. List. Enumeration. Okay. Let, show, let me show you the wrong way to do this. The wrong way. The list starts with number one. We are a provider of quality catering services. Ito na yung naman ng ano, no, <laughs> blog post. How to find your perfect business. Binigyan ako ng mission at vision. Number two. Okay, we, <laughs> it's the wrong way to do this. We are located in our office hours. Kahit na ako lang natatawa dito, a lot of people make this mistake of making a perfect bookkeeper. Okay, we, ano pa yung mga, kaya lang, mayroon akong listahan sa tila. We catered only to the most discriminating. What's wrong with these blog posts? This is one blog post that lists of it answers the question how to find your perfect caterer halimbawa. Tapos ito yung laman how to find. We are provider requests. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Yep, how to find your perfect virtual assistant in Makati. Hindi pwedeng location sa virtual assistant kasi global ka. I'm talking about services and normally services are online. Are not online, they're offline. So, pag VA ka, wala dapat location. May specialization pala dapat. So, this is the wrong way to do this. We are a provider, blah, blah, blah. This, this doesn't even answer how to find the perfect business. So, how do you do the right way? So, this is the right way. Okay. The right way is, sabi ko sa inyo, self-evaluation. One, benefit one, what will people get from you? Benefit two, what will people get from you? Benefit three, yan. Ito yung tanong, alam mo ba kung ano yung benefit one? Quality service, Jomar, quality service. So, ang gagawin mo, babore mo ako by saying, the perfect bookkeeper must supply quality service. Yeah? Tama ba? Yes or no? Tama ba ito? Yeah, nakikita niyo ba yung screen ko? Hindi pala eh, no? Nakas nakikita niyo naman. Super late na ba yung screen? What am I talking about in the screen? So this is the wrong way, no? The perfect must supply quality service. This is the right way of writing it, and it should be in answer to the question of what, how to find the perfect bookkeeper, for example. Okay? So sabi mo lang, the perfect bookkeeper always reminds you of BIR that? deadlines at least three times. Once in Facebook, twice in text, 10 days before it's due, and gives you a sample filled out, filled up form in case you need to fill it up. Actually, pangit pa yan. And gives you a, and gives you a post it arrow for 
PIR forms you need to sign. They do all the encoding. Nagtapos na yan. So, na yan. Actually, dalawang post na yan. Kasi may end na ako. Tanggalin ko na yung end ko. Kagawin ko na yung next post. Benefit 2. The perfect bookkeeper. You suppose it are... For are you getting this? Are you getting this? So these are benefits for a perfect bookkeeper. So it did it. Ito yung mali. Ito yung una, no? Mali yan. So I gave you two benefits. It's really just telling you what service you're giving to other people. And that's, yun yung laman nung, ano, nung essay na yun, yung perfect blog post. So, ano, gano'ng kahaba? Ewan ko, gano'ng kahaba nyo gusto? Sampo? Ayan. Yun yung laman nung perfect blog post. Just have to spend the time doing self, self, ano, analyzing your service, doing thinking, surfing the net, what other people supply, tapos, kwento mo doon sa blog post, what is the right, how to find the perfect na X, which is the your 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 business? How to find the purpose for perfect na X, meaning your perfect business? So it's just a list of benefits. Ready kayo for the what you're gonna do with this essay? Hindi ko na to tuloy kasi susko kaya yung kaya yung dapat yan. Ay? Sure, kailangan pa niyong digan mo. Pa niyong digan mo? Di ni describe mo yung sarili mo. Okay? So this is just an essay, one line, uh, this is a several line essay, mga 10 lines lang. Kung ang list mo, how to find the perfect, ano, perfect photo booths or tours or online bookstore. Meron kang list of 10 items, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Tapos ang gagawin mo, bawat uh, ilalagay mo sa blog mo. So kung wala kang blog, ilalagay mo sa Facebook mo. Oops pa. So what do we do with the essay? Essay is done. What will you do with it? Very simply put. And quickly, I will just tell you where it goes. It's going to go to your WordPress blog. If you don't have one, create one. If you don't know, you can ask us uh, in the online mentoring club or just make use Google, find out on your own how to do it. You have to make a hosted WordPress blog. Yan ang lalagay mong blog post. Now, 10 items yan, di ba? 10 items na yan, gagawan mo siya ng 10 Facebook images or posters. Hulaan mo kanun laman. First, first one, ang sabi ng poster, the perfect book bookkeeper always reminds you of BIR deadline something something. So I'm going to create one for you right now. A poster in Facebook. Of course, it's not a Facebook poster. It's a poster I would create in PowerPoint. But I'm just going to do it in front of you. Para lang masaya. So para sa mga ano ba yung poster? Nakakita na kayo ganoon kung nagbubukas kayo ng blog ni boss ng Facebook ni Blow Sanchez. Um, bawat post doon ay poster, meaning it's a square 403 by 403 na na image and what what are you talking about? Uh, I'm making it right now in front of you. It's the size is 403 by 403. That's the size of the image. Kasi gusto ni Facebook ganun kalaki yung size o ganun kaliit. However, so around that size, and that's a poster, and I'm gonna put that in, and this is, this is the this is the poster. Of course, ayaw ko lang may text, no? I mean, it's so weird na dalagang ko lang siya ng text. So dalagang ko siya ng background color para naman masaya at makit mas makita mo siya. Mas I mean, mas visible yung message mo. I'm gonna also gonna pick the best font that I feel conveys the trustworthiness of of my company. So you have to find a font that kind of speaks to you as a human being. It kind of makes the person feel that he can trust you. And font selection is a big topic. I'm not going to cover that, but you need to come up with your decision what font will you use in your posters. Bawa yan yun. Tapos lalagay ko dito, uh, the perfect bookkeeper, kasi yun ang aking title. Wala, gusto ko yun ang title ko eh. Tapos, number one, And I'll copy that. That's my simple, simple, simple poster. Okay? I can put some other stuff here just to keep it interesting. I can put a star and I can put a red star there. Just it's just a Facebook poster, a 403 by 403. I put this in Facebook 
And that's, sabi sa maraming work. 403 by 43 pixels. Okay, so that's one. And let me go back there. And you're going to put 10. Kasi 10 po yung benefits mo eh. 10 po. So 10 Facebook images, posters, lalagay mo sa Facebook mo. One a day. Maubusan ka in 10 days, right? Kasi one a day nga eh. So, bus na siya. So now, you now have 10 images, right? In Facebook. There's 10 advice, right? So after you do that, yung images na yun, you group it together, you dump the images. 10 images, you dump it to YouTube. Create a video. Or create the in Animoto, which creates a video of the 10 images. Now you take the 10, 10 images na yan, and then you dump it into Pinterest. One on top of another, meaning pahatayo. Patayo. Parang cards. Di ba pag nagka-cards ka solitaire, one on top of each other? So parang ganun. Kasi Pinterest, they love photos na mahahaba. So pag naghanap ka ng Pinterest photos, most of the pictures you'll find in Pinterest are single photos or very, very patayo na posters. Patayo, patayo, up and down. Hindi siya left and right. Wala akong makita ang picture ng Pinterest na mahaba. Eh. Pero yan, yan, here. See that? That's a long picture and gawin mong ganyan yung poster mo, one on top of each other, para papaba. Di ba? Para papaba yan. Ganyan kataya, katayo. So, sa so sampung images pa lang nga, guys, sa isang blog post. Tapos kukunin mo yung sampung images na yan, no? Lalagyan mo siya ng pictures na iba. Siyempre, huwag mo naglagyan ng pictures, hindi lang mga words, eh. And then, images na yan, you can make it to 20 images, as in, 10 words lang, tapos 10 in pictures. Okay? Pictures na maganda, tapos ilalagay mo yan sa slide share. Tapos ilalagay mo, yan, ilalagay mo siya sa slide share para makita. Tapos ilalagay mo siya sa script D. Okay? You can also take this 10 images in 20, you can repost it into YouTube also. Yan. Para kumalat yung message mo. How do you find the perfect X in location Y? And then, there. I think that's it. I can't remember what else we did I miss. Pero that's, I think that's basically what you're going to do with that first blog post. And all succeeding blog posts after that. Oh, finally, how will you promote the blog post? Kasi pag ginawa mo to, pag ginawa mo to, hindi siya ang lalaman ng mundo. Kailangan maraman ng mundo. So this is where the psychology comes in. You have now created multiple stuff on, online taken from one perfect blog post. Sinaksak mo siya sa Animoto, nilagay mo siya sa YouTube, nilagay mo siya sa Pinterest, nilagay mo siya sa Slideshare, nilagay mo siya sa Script, nilagay mo siya sa YouTube, ah, nilagay mo rin siya sa Facebook. Hindi ko sinabi ko. Ito yung Facebook ko. Oh. Nilagay mo na siya dyan, and now that you've done that, you need to promote. And that's where you, you use the influencer forums. I told you, you're gonna analyze your product. Who are the people who uses your product? Who do they listen to? Where are the people who listen, who influence your buyers? So you look for the influencer forums. So if you're running a photo booth and the, the people who buy from you are mommies, where do mommies go online to find advice from other mommies or other people? Uh, one, one concrete example would be parenting forums. Another concrete example would be a uh, female network uh, network.com forums. Um, this is an actual website, and you put this thing that you just did, the article with pictures, into this forum, so the mommies can see it, or the influencers of the mommies can see it. Same thing. If you guys have any business that mommies buy, you go there. So, John, where do you find the forums? Ayan yung sakatotok na research. Kasi, you have to Google them. Identify who your influencers are, and then look for where they're hanging out in the internet, in your city, and then you will now have a lot of work in charge in, in your life, looking for the forums, signing up for the forums, and posting what? This. Posting your images, posting your single blog post into that forum and you're gonna get customers as simple as that by the way this is a simplified version of content management uh, content marketing this is a simplified version of content marketing simplified by yep 
yeah, simplified pa yan. Kasi isang blog post pa lang ang ginagamit ko. So essentially, this is the framework or the summary or the acronym of, of the new online mentoring club. We're going to do this. We're going to do this sa online mentoring club if you have a business. If you don't have a business, we're still going to do this for a, some, uh, some other company so that you get their attention. If, they, if you don't get their attention, you're going to get their competitors' attention. And that's what we're, that's what we're after. You know? People will notice your skills. People will hire you for your skills. Or you will make money from the, the projects that we do in the online mentoring club. So I'm ending tonight by uh, open forum if anybody is still here interested. You can execute this on your own. I told you how to do it. Or you can ask help from us by joining the online mentoring club. So I'm going to stop talking now and ask you for what do you think? For questions. This entire thing is for selling a service, by the way. It's not for selling a product. Uh, you're not going to advertise the blog in your forum. You're going to post your blog posts in the forum. Did you notice I said it was an essay? The essay? It's an essay, right? So you're not going to tell them, oh, go, go to my blog, it's a forum. You're not going to tell them to go to your blog. That's weird. You post the, for, the essay, you, you, you put the essay, cut and paste your essay from Microsoft Word into the forum. As simple as that. Uh, ginamit ko panggawa ng poster, PowerPoint. PowerPoint lang yan. In, I use Keynote, it's the same as PowerPoint. That's the tool I use to create the poster. Uh, pa paano mag-join ng online mentoring club? Uh, here. You use the hashtag. No, joke. Joke lang. To join the online mentoring club, find out what is in there, what you can get out of it. Online mentoring three. There. So ito yung details on the online mentoring club. Uh, we are open to teach people for 12 months. Old members and the online mentoring two. If you want to avail of the live meetups, you can upgrade. If you don't want to avail, it's free. Let me repeat that. Old members, like money, of online mentoring too, they don't need to do anything. They're automatically in the new lessons. But if you want to avail of the live meetups and the other bonuses, you, you can upgrade. There's payment for that. We've already sent you the email, I think. OK. Of course, tama si Manny. How will people in the forums avail of your service test? Your contact info is obviously in the forum, not in the essay, in the forum. So, lagay mo yung blog post mo. You don't have to advertise your company. Hello, hindi mo kailangan. Ginawa mo yung blog post eh. Tapos tatabihin nila, sino ba nag-post nito? Hahanapin nila yung contact details mo. Make sure it's obvious there. Okay? Make sure your contact details is obvious because you wrote that essay. Obviously, yung essay, hindi nakalagay. We at this company provide you uh, with a reminder before the BIR wants you to... Hindi mo lalagay yung company name mo dun. That's weird. Lagay mo lang how to find the perfect X. Okay? So, here is the formula. So, ano yung laman ng online mentoring club? 12 months of mentoring. Here's what we're going to do every three months. Every three months we're doing something different in the online mentoring club. Meaning, we're tackling a different project. Kasi ang, ang online marketing kasi, when you do this, it's not like VAs, no? Na, na somebody hires you to earn money, no? In online marketing, you have to do something for someone like ito. Pagawa ka ng blog post on the perfect X, the perfect business. Tapos, titignan mo ako magkiklik because you don't really know what the market will do. You can do your research, but people might not want to buy what you're creating. It doesn't matter, though. 
because most of the time people will buy as long as you stay there and create something na na the people are interested in reading if they want to read it they want to buy it i'm sure pwede ba maglagay ng visit as as you're selling no Melanie, wag ka maglagay ng selling message. Hindi mo naman gustong gawin yun eh. You want them to be curious? Gawin mo yung selling message kung saan siya allowed. Most forums will not allow you to sell directly. So, wag mo siya, wag kang mag-sell. Gawin mo yung blog post. Wag mo siyang gawing, you know, weird like, Oh, you can contact us at this number. Why? Hindi sinira mo yung blog post. Yung blog post supposed to be helps them think. They will ask you more questions if they're interested. You can call them and email them or text them about your company later. Remember, pag nandiligaw, hindi humihingi ng kasal on the same day. Tama? Nandiligaw ka lang eh. Gusto mo kasal agad. Yun. So, if you are in direct selling business, I didn't tackle that because you're actually you're selling products. I'm you can modify this to sell products actually. Yes, try mo. Try to use thinking because I said you need to think. How will you modify the blog post title para you sell products? Sige nga, you try it. You type in the revised how to find the perfect blank for your product. We're not using feed burner anymore. The, the 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 gods who own feed burner are killing it. Feed burner is not that relevant today. So I'm saying, eh, we used to use feed burner no ne, eh, pero hindi na pwede kasi Google wants to kill it, and they're actually killing it now. So hindi tayo gagamit ng feed burner. So ano pa ano pa ano pa ano pa um. Masabi ko sa online mentoring club. OMC3, uh, this, this is the entire point of the online mentoring club. Okay? Here it is. Um, you can actually do this yourself. If you can, do it and show us. Para ma-inspire kami. So you can do it yourself. But if you can't, you don't want to guess. You want to be under the guidance of the persons who helped some pretty famous people today, actually. Like Bo Sanchez, Larry Gumboa, <laughs> um, some not so famous but prominent people today, like Vince Golango. Okay. Uh, sino pa si Hana Villasis? I got these people to. I got these people to ano ah, to facilitate in my workshops para mat maglearn sila without paying, oh, di ba? Uh, sino pa ba? Um, si Jan Makilado. Sino pa ba si? Off oh, the top of my head lang to ah. These are some of the people I've helped and are still helping. A lot more people like Sixto, Sixto Carlos, he's a doctor, he has a veterinary uh, hospital, Shana Sino, who actually just resigned from work last week. Huh? She resigned from work and start and is full-time online now. So there's a lot more of these old students that have helped see Brian, Uy, who's running a services business also. So, a lot more. So, yeah, kung gusto mo, kung ano yung tinuturo ko sa kanila, ituro ko rin sa iyo, you know, then join the online mentoring club. Okay? So, yung online mentoring club is just completely online, step by step, on how to do everything I told you today. How to do all of that stuff. Okay? How to do email marketing. How to sell online, how to accept credit cards. Yung kailangan mong mga laman para maintindihan mo yung pag-andar ng 
isang online business na basic. Yeah, this is very different from MMI. Yung MMI is my other product. OMC2 is for beginners. MMI is generally for graduates of OMC. Yung MMI kasi, ano na yan? Step by step yan, pero parang marketing lang yan. Ina-assume na MMI, you have a product na. Or service na. Yan ang assumption. Ito, you have yourself lang. Yan ang assumption ng OMC. So, kung mag-MMI ka, actually ang tawag niya MMS, MSF na. You should have a product already. Kasi hindi mo siya magagamit kung wala kang product or service. Pag OMC, you have just yourself. And the goal of OMC is really just to help you get online income. That's it. And to teach you the necessary skills and philosophy. Importante eh. Kahit na ayaw mo, kailangan maintindihan yan eh. Of online business. Once marunong ka na sa OMC, marunong ka na magpaanda ng kahit anong klaseng online business. Kasi ang laman lang naman yan, email marketing. Kahit na ano yun, basta. Importante yan. Uh, kailangan dyan, Facebook marketing. Diba? Essentially yun. Y yun lang dalawa na yan. Malaking bagay na yan. Tapos yung, yung tinuturo natin ngayon, yung content marketing, which you saw, which is exactly what I gave you just now. The perfect blog post, that's essentially content marketing. Okay, so there. So, yan ang laman online mentoring club. I think you have up to September 3 to decide to join up uh, para makuha niyo yung mga bonuses. Yeah. So, let's just open this website para masaya, no? So, wala kayong tanong kasi kung wala, bye-bye. It's not a paid seminar. It's a online, uh, completely online mentoring program. Though, pag kumu-avail ka ng dream deal, you get to see us live kasi merong live meetings ang online mentoring club. So you have 13 days to go. The special discounted rate is valid until um, September 3. And here's what you get. I'm going to show you this. So regular, you have access to the brand new lessons and 12 webinars, so 12 like this. Every month you get Q&A, you have demos, yan. Uh, content marketing was like invented this year lang, so we couldn't have possibly done it last year. <laughs> Kasi ngayon lang pinansin ng mga, ng mga companies yung content marketing. Ngayon lang nila in-explain kung ano yan. You would want to upgrade to OMC3 if you want to do the live meetups with us every three months. Okay. Live meetings, depending, wala pa akong venue sa live meetings. Probably in Taguig, where I live. Probably, ha? Pero actually, recently, ayoko na dito. Kasi I have air conditioning problems. So probably, I don't know where we're gonna meet. Okay? So, nag-sign up na si Jun Punito. So, when we, when we see your Punito, if you used online, if you used the bank, lalabas pa yan bukas ng gabi. Bukas, ama ah, mayang midnight. Pero walang pasok ngayon, so lalabas pa yung payment mo kung nagbanko ka sa so Wednesday na umaga pa. Okay, pag nagbayad ka. Okay? So, all the OMC2 students, no? OMC2 students, they get this already. Kasi yung OMC2, yun yung last year, two years ago na version yan. So, libre na sila dito sa number one, Libre na sila sa number two. Kaya yung makakuha ng mga dating members ng OMC. So kung gusto mo mag-upgrade, dito ka. Okay? Um, you get these other bonuses. Or if you are not a member yet, i-consider nyo kunin yung premium. Kasi may bibigyan namin kayo ng MMI lessons, a seminar that I held like eight hours on how to start in online marketing. You have access to the old OMC2 lessons which are already there. Okay? And there's an upgrade fee, pero... Kung hindi pa namin email sa inyo, I will, email, I will tell my VAs to email it now. This another bonus is how to have more clients in your business, how to create advertising videos, how to know the best ideas in making money online. So these are webinars in the past I did, so that's a recording. And for 
the dream deals, kasi mayroong premium, may regular premium and dream. Yung dream deal naman, one hour private webinar with somebody I taught, not me. Okay, somebody I taught. So, kung men, men ako, we'll find uh, somebody na tinuruan ko, tapos you can, ha, you can talk to that person. Pre-record namin yung webinar ng dalawa. So that's for the dream deal. Now, I have, a, I have several talks I did specifically for Bo Sanchez in events worth about 50 to 70, 75,000 pesos. Yung talk ko na yun, na-record ko, so you have a copy of that. There's two, okay? There's two of those events. I have the Wealth Summit talk. I also have an event in the successful speakers na talk. So you get a copy of those, those recorded talks also. Plus, ang pinaka-dream deal talaga, we're gonna meet each other for a learning and celebration event every three months. Once every quarter, we're gonna live meet up tayo as part of your payment if you get the dream deal. Okay, so the the deals now is for regular is 22,625. The premium is 24,975. And the dream deal is 39,375. And if you want to take installments, it's very affordable at 2,000 pesos, 55, 2,275, and 3,495 for 12 months. Ayan. Mas start tayo. Uh, end September, obviously. September. After two weeks of September 3, yan po yan tayo mag start. Okay? So that's it. So there's a bonus if you pay in full and or in cash or card by before September 3. We're gonna have a VA create the blog for you. So yung technical stuff uh, handled na yan ng, ng VA. By the way, the dream deal also includes this bonus already. Pag kumuha ka ng dream deal, meron na yung bonus na yan na gagawan ka ng blog ng dream ng ano nung virtual assistant. Para hindi ka natatakot sa first part. Kasi yung first part in making the blog is pretty technical, lalo na yung keyword research. So, wag mo nang gawin yun. Kumuha ng dream deal, the, the VA will just do it for you. Okay. Lori, if you're in another country, yes, all the events, including all my webinars, are recorded. So, you get access to that as well. Uh, downloadable in MP3 or video format, friendly for your iPod or your Android phone. Okay. So, meron kaming fast mover, hindi pa to completely filled up, I think. I'm not sure, ah. hindi ko pa chinecheck eh. Uh, first three people to join, you get access to two very important vaults. The webinar vault, which contains around two years of webinars. You might want to get that. And the Wealth Ideas Media vault, that's, that's, ano, that's a vault nobody's ever seen, which is mga nire-research ko this month. So you're interested to know what I'm looking at this month. The recordings and the PDFs are in here. So you get one month access to that if you're in one of the first three. But if you're after the first three is filled up, siguro filled up na I'm not sure. Eh. The next five to sign up for premium and dream deal, you get access to the Wealth Ideas Major Vault lang. Okay? Tapos, if you're after na fill up na yung next five, if you're the next 27, you get access to the webinar vault for one month. In that in itself will fill up your iPad or your iPhone or your cell phone for a very long time kasi ang daming laman ng webinars niyan. Paulit-ulit mong pakinggan because that's how we ano, we learn. That's how we learn. Okay? So that's it. That's how that's your um, um, bonus bonuses if you if you're one of the first ganyan. May tanong just paki Paki-chat nga ako, Jazz. May tanong eh. Um, itong bonuses ba na ito ay applicable kahit installment ka? Can you answer that? I can't remember the, the rules we set up. So ito yung mga payment links. You can use the bank, you can use PDO, you can use DPI, you can use the credit card, or you can use PayPal, I think. Yeah, yeah. Nandiyan yung details ng banking. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, so the, the bonuses are only applicable for dream deal and premium deal full payments. Okay, full payment na dream deal or uh, premium deals does not cover installments. Okay. For credit card or cash payments na full, pwede kayo mag-bank deposit sa BDO or BPI. 
before September 3. So that yan yan yung applicable sa sa mga bonus na mention ko. Okay? So pa ano man nakalagay dito. Oh, here's just some of the people na nagawaan ko. Ayan si John Mack. Ah, si Jay. Si Jay Castillo also. One of the first people I thought who's running the number one foreclosure investing resource in the Philippines. Foreclosure Philippines. Si Ronald Kaagape. Okay? Also one of the first people I thought. Now, you guys listen to these guys pag may real estate na ano. Uh, pag may real estate na event. So, I also thought this guy. Si Eden also. He's a member of the OMC too, by the way. Si Eden Alimanya who's running a bookstore empire right now from scratch and already also running a real estate business. Si Red is still in the online mentoring club, still earning from from affiliate marketing. So you can you can see him there in the membership site. And si Ivy, also a member of the SM of, of the online mentoring club, now doing uh, her own business and health. Si Marvin is now a highly paid virtual assistant. So, dami, madami, dami sila. Dapat kayo ay sumali niya dito sa listahan ng mga success stories na to. Si Sha, si, si Vince ko lang to. So, a lot of people that we've helped and just get close, just get close, you know. Uh, be, be a member of the online mentoring club. Tell Jomar, Jomar, how else can I help you? And then you, I will give you opportunities to help me and then you will grow faster than ever. That's how it works. So thank you for listening. If you have questions, I will leave the I will leave the ano, the chat room open for Nikki to answer your questions kasi nakikita naman niya. Okay? So Sabihin mo na lang kay Nikki if you have a question through the chat box or the question box. But I will say good night because it's time for you to live a marvelous life and decide, okay? So, salamat for joining tonight. I know you got something from this. I hope you share it to others and help them grow also, okay? Thank you. Thank you. And I'm going to leave the link so you can remember where to go. <laughs>